So I'm standing here this morning with one of the guys that does it right with JAG in Missouri. He's at Kennett High School. This is Coach Webster from Kennett High School. I've been up here multiple times to visit him, present programs about what I do with my college success program there at ANC. And I've gotten to observe a lot of the things he does uh, up here at Kennett High School. Coach, can you kind of tell us your background? Where, where'd you go to high school? Where'd you go to college? Well, um, I went to Dexter High School. That's where I, I went uh, pre <laughs> preschool all the way through in Dexter. And then uh, I graduated and I uh, went to Arkansas State for a year. And then um, I worked in the football office there. And then I went to um, Central Methodist for a year and played for a year because I thought I needed to do that. And then, um, anyways, I graduated with my undergrad from Missouri Western up in St. Joseph, Missouri. Then I coached for a couple places up there. Um, smaller schools and then uh, ended up moving back to to Kennett and then I've got my master's degree from Arkansas State. Nice and how long have you been here at Kennett and what is your role here at Kennett? Well this is my fifth year here in Kennett so it's at the end of the year so the end of my fifth and uh, started I was just uh, I, my first year here I taught PE at Masterton which is the elementary and then I um, I was assistant football then. To, uh, I helped with offense, and then after that, I moved over, and I, then I was then I became defensive coordinator here, and I've done that for the last four years at high school. And then um, the other coaching stuff, I'm the head track coach and head wrestling coach now. But um, the thing that I love the most about Kenna High School is uh, my teaching job, which is Jobs for America's graduates. Nice, and I've seen your JAG kids in action, and I've kind of gotten. I want to kind of expand on that in a, in a minute, but. I've seen that you do an awesome uh, JAG job fair, which includes all seniors at Kennedy High School, not just JAGs, but but your JAG seniors and your JAG juniors help out with that and putting that on. It's a lot of businesses from all over the area in the Boot Hill, and it gives people good opportunities that are seniors to go look at either a job opportunity or possible college opportunity after, after high school. I know that you do a lot of service projects here in the community and you do a lot of field trips where you expose, expose these kids to a lot of different things with businesses and industry. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about kind of the things that you try to do with your JAG kids and, and kind of break it down because a lot of people don't know really what JAG does in Arkansas or Missouri. Can you can you kind of start off with what's your, what's your role as their JAG teacher? What are you trying to accomplish? And then what are some of the things you do with your kids to, to teach them these different skills? Yeah, well, I mean, the first thing, you know, Jobs for America's graduates is a, uh, you know, it's a state-based nonprofit organization, but, you know, there's like 39 states that have it, and, uh, I mean, it's huge. And uh, it's bipartisan, which, you know, today is, is wild that both sides can agree on anything. But, uh, you know, you look at it, and uh, some of the funds there are just there to help you with the kids and to do different things for them, and your school's got to be invested in it. But, uh, I mean, I think it's the greatest – I mean, I think it's the greatest program out there for helping kids. I mean, I haven't seen anything be more successful than what JAG's done. So basically what it does is you bring these kids into your class and you help select them with your counselors and the other people on the uh, administration. And then um, they come in your class and, and you interview them and they have to have barriers. And that's the, that's the main thing. So the kid has to have barriers and you're like, okay, so what's that? Well, you know, some barriers can be the kid's fault. You know, they could be like, hey, they got in trouble or hey, you know, they have bad attendance or different things like that. But, you know, what we found is a lot of the barriers, you know, even some of those are just acting out because of some of the other barriers that they may have, you know, that may not be their fault. You know, maybe their mom or dad didn't graduate or maybe mom or dad's not working or mom or dad's in jail or they're been in foster care and different things like that. So then you bring in these kids into your class and then the, the curriculum you have set up, you work on different things like different projects you can help them learn stuff about uh, you learn about who they are you learn about different jobs that are available what kind of jobs they may or may not like as they grow up you can learn um, about community service um, not, not not like the mandatory kind but like the kind where you're out helping people and you know seeing seeing what it's like and what that feels like on the other side because a lot of our kids you know we have they uh, they have others that help them with service, but you know, for them to be a part of helping others, they can learn what that's like, and that's very important, you know, because I think no matter what, uh, no matter what your situation is, you can always try to help somebody. You know, it just may not look the same as something else. You know, uh, 
Man, I, I know a lot of the programs I've seen and with, with my program and with all the business and industry I constantly talk to, soft skills, soft skills, soft skills. And I know you preach it just like I do, showing up to work on time, having a good work ethic while you're there, time management, managing your time well, showing up when you're supposed to, staying the whole time, uh, putting that effort in, working as a team. I know with, with the coaching background with both of us, uh, I, I was talking to you before we started videoing, a lot of you Missouri guys that are JAG teachers are coaches also, and I think that's, that's essential because I'm a giant proponent of athletics and competition and teamwork, and, and those are some of the kind of things that you teach also is the soft skill st side, right, Coach? Absolutely. You know, you look at that, like, those are the things that, you know, make or break you. You know, you look at soft skills, you look at trying to get, you know, how do you go through an interview, all, all those different types of things. You know, and the main thing, we know what we found most uh, – Employers just want somebody who's going to show up and act right and do what they ask. And, you know, if we can do that, then we can, you know, overcome a lot of things. You know, you can teach them things and those kids have a chance to move on and, and be successful. And, you know, that's kind of the, the basis where it's at. So that we find those barriers and we try to help them overcome that, you know, and then there's the curriculum we teach. It goes with it. You learn things about, like, trauma-informed care and how that affects your life and how you can overcome those things. Uh, just there's so much – that JAG does, you know, and what it does, you know, so we talked about money a minute ago. Well, that money that comes in, you know, allows you to take care of these kids and show them different things, you know, and I'm like, I know like in JAG, Missouri, we have a career development conference. We take kids and they go compete against other schools, you know, um, you know, usually every year we take kids to Washington, D.C. and uh, they get to see what it's like there and meet people and their state reps and all that different stuff. They're U.S. congressmen. And uh, you know, you, you've seen that like, if you just take take time and invest in these kids, then what you get back is so much more than what you even invested in them. And it's wild. And, and, and like, uh, it just, I mean, that's what I think teaching's all about. Like, cause you can see these kids grow and progress and you know, many of them move on and do great things after you've worked with them. And that's the, I mean, I think that's the, the best part of it. That's awesome. Uh, a couple more questions, coach. Sure. One is, uh, what is your success rate do you find after graduation between getting a job somewhere? Because a lot of kids aren't going to go to college, but they we do want to motivate them to get into the workforce and be a productive member of the community and have a job somewhere. What do you think your success rate overall? It doesn't have to be a specific thing, but you see a lot of your kids after you've taught them these soft, soft skills and built up their confidence and built their teamwork skills up. You see them going on and getting jobs, and do you see them going on and going to different colleges and stuff like that out of your program in high school? Oh yeah, all the time. We, uh, I mean, I can tell you the success rate of um, is so much higher because of Jag versus if those kids were not in Jag. I mean, like, I mean, it changes so much there. I mean, that that's a huge deal. Uh, you know, you teach them the skills, and then they have a chance to move on and do it. And that's the, I mean, that's where the magic happens when you see the kids really say, "All right, I can go do this," and then they go do it. And we've had, um, you know, the, the number the number's a lot higher. I mean, it's way more than 60%. I mean, it's somewhere you know, it's somewhere in the 80% range. And, it, and it's huge because, you know, if the kids didn't have those opportunities and didn't have Jack, you know, who knows where they'd end up. That's right. That's right. Um, I, last thing here, Coach. You've seen us in action where our college success program at ANC uh, takes kids right out of these JAG programs that have, that have been taught these soft skills by you guys in high school. And after graduation, we contact them. Uh, we get them on our campus. We get them enrolled in the program of study. We help them with their FAFSA. We follow them through that program of study and then actually try to get them a job, you know, after they complete that program of study. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've noticed from your visit on our campus to see what we have down there? And then for my presentations, I've been up here a couple of times to present. Can you tell us how get, this can be where a passing of the baton, you're passing off <laughs> from high school basically to college and, and ensuring success with these kids. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, A&C, even more so than any other school in our area that I've seen, you guys are willing to, you know, just like we talked about barriers and overcome that, like that's the thing, like you guys are like, Oh, okay, you can't get here. Well, we have a bus and we'll come get you. Like you've eliminated the excuses for these kids to not go there and be successful. And I think that's the, the greatest thing because then they can't, they can't, it, it ultimately would, it, with you guys, it ultimately comes down to them either wanting it or not wanting it because you've eliminated all the reasons for them not to go there and be successful. You know, like you'll go pick them up. You'll provide support in there. You'll do fast food with them. Basically, you know, you are, you're the college version of what all these other coaches and 
jack teachers are here. Like you're gonna help them overcome those barriers and help them make it through. And, and there's so many cool job opportunities there. You guys have like all kinds of neat programs, whether it's nursing, whether it's, um, whether it's uh, airplanes and all that other stuff and welding. And, you know, we went down there and checked it out, you know, and you're very passionate too. And you, you know, that's the thing, like the cool thing about like you and your program, like I, I even sent you a name one time of a kid that's not even in JAG. And I was like, Hey man, this kid needs a job. He's contacted me. And then poof, out of nowhere, this kid got an interview, you know, because you helped him and, you know, and that's a big deal. And that kind of stuff goes a long way. So I think, I think ANC is a heck of a program and they, uh, you know, and, and, it, and it's, and it's nice. Like, you know, I, I know that sounds like silly, but like, um, you know, people from different parts of Missouri, you know, sometimes uh, the area down there in Blyville or whatever gets kind of a kind of a stigma or whatever. And we went there, you know, and I was like, wow, this place is really nice. It's really safe. It's in a good area. And, you know, not that not that not that other areas are bad or whatever, but like I was very impressed with the whole presentation and everything that you guys had there. And um, I think it's a great school. And I think that um, I mean, I think that lots of our kids, we've had some kids go there and finish programs and be successful. And I think that more and more should go and you know if you're a boot hill kid anc is a great place for you to end up appreciate that coach yeah we do have some brand new state-of-the-art facilities especially our tech center a lot of construction and aviation and welding allied health all that stuff's brand new so we appreciate you uh supporting our program too coach your time is is invaluable to us man we, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and maybe you know, prompting some other people that'll see this video on youtube or facebook to uh to come and and get into a jag program in high school even if they're not in the jag program go do that overcome some obstacles and maybe even take to the next level and go get a job somewhere or go to a college like like anc appreciate your time today coach and uh we'll be checking back in with you that sounds great thanks a bunch thanks for having me